Honestly, I swear to God, I swear, if I was, uh, so um, just one more thing to add to this video now, um, th there's, these come with a little spring to them, uh, so that it, it basically just stays open and then you can use, you squeeze them tight. Um, I forgot to put that on through the entirety of this video. Uh, it doesn't make a massive difference, but... Um, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs>Hi, uh, welcome to a Lewis Art Vlog. Now it's been a while um, since I made the videos where I put a canvas together. The day after I did that video where I made the canvas, and the link is over here somewhere, um, I realised that uh, using the 12 ounce duck cotton, I needed pliers. I didn't have any, so um, calico always had a bit more stretch to it, so you could manipulate it a little bit easier but this wasn't quite so easy to work with. So I needed to buy myself some canvas pliers and I just went for a very straightforward Amazon budget job to see uh, how they worked and, and here they are. So uh, let's have a look. So this is actually like a proper YouTube unboxing this. Um, here are my canvas pliers. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Let's get them out and have a look. Fairly straightforward. Uh, now, I may be using them wrong, I don't know. I've watched a couple of YouTube videos and um, they didn't show exactly how to do it, so I guess so. I guess there is potential for me to be doing it wrong, but um, this is how I'm using them. Uh, so I, I'm not sure which side goes up, but I'm guessing, from my reckoning, um, that you kind of use them in a way where you lever which gives you the stretch. If I'm if I'm doing this completely wrong, um, I, I'd really appreciate someone telling me. So if you could comment below, uh, that'd be that'd be great. But this is how I'm using it. I am at stretching the canvases more now, so I, I guess I'm using it right. Um, but uh, let's have a look at, at how I've been doing it. So basically, stapling the canvas on one side, so all three staples are at an angle that they're really easy to pull out. Um, then I'm basically turning the canvas around and I start the tightening from the other end. It's a good video this one and simply just by pulling it you can create a slightly better angle. Uh, so that one's was the trickiest because it's got the bar, but once I'm on to the, the bit without the bar, I'm just kind of, and I just basically use, I'm just basically using the edge of the stretcher bar for a bit of leverage and it pulls it nice and tight. I don't know if you can see that with hands. So it pulls it nice and tight and then we just move along the bar. Stretching it as we go, and again, so it's definitely pulling the canvas tighter, which is exactly what I wanted. They're an inex inexpensive pair of pliers. I'll put a link in the description below. They were basically um, just Amazon recommended. Now you can see where I've put that first one in already. There's a bit of a bubble there. So it's no problem. So no problem with that. We just lift it out. Pull it tight and put it back in. So there we are, and we move on. So it's fairly straight, so it's pretty, so that's it really. Um, the addition of the pliers has simply meant that I can ensure that uh, the canvas is tighter. 
it was a problem and like I said using uh, calico previously calico has definitely got a little bit more particularly unprimed calico it's definitely got a little bit more stretch in it um, it'd be interesting to go back to calico uh, use some pliers I suppose and see and see how much tighter I can get the canvas but um, it certainly works for this it certainly straightens the canvas out uh, it's it's made it easier and that's that's always a good thing it was inexpensive and it's a great addition to my canvas making set so I'll just finish this off now and uh, and then we'll we'll wrap this video up yeah so there you go canvas done uh, really good addition not expensive um, really made a difference to being able to stretch the canvas tight, particularly with this type of canvas. Um, so yeah, so I just thought I'd add this one on. So if you haven't seen the two videos where I make the canvases, there is a link here somewhere. Um, uh, feel free to go back and watch those. Next step, get the compositions planned out and uh, get making some art. So um, thanks for watching.